Hello, good morning to the YouTubes here in the Americas. Good morning in the Americas. I'm here in Portland. It's 10 a.m. bright and early for me. I just woke up. I'm having my morning coffee. And we're going to have some guitar tricks today. And with me today, I have Jennifer Valaket. Jennifer is my guitar student for today. We're doing the Friday Guitar Series. And um, we're going to just do like a review lesson today. Okay? I guess, you know what? Uh, it would probably be better if I didn't have my uh, have my background blurry so people can see my, <laughs> see my hands, right? I didn't, didn't even think about that. I was, I was using this for my interview yesterday. All right, let's turn off the blur. Okay, that's better. All right, Jennifer, are you ready to review? I am ready. Okay, so the very first Elite Bata guitar tricks that I did was um, the Ebo. Um, and, and you don't have an Ebo, do you? So so we're going to skip that one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't even know what an Ebo is. <laughs> an Ebo is an electronic bow for guitar or stringed instruments. Okay. So, um, seeing as how you... Um, don't have an Ebo. Um, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna skip the Ebo lesson. So, Sounds good. <laughs> so, so what, what I want to try next is um, the thumb snare slap. Do you remember the thumb snare thumb snare slap? I do. Yeah. Like that, right? Well, what we want is just just one. Right. Mm -hmm. Oops. There we go. <laughs> All right, so for for a thumb snare slap. Okay, so since this is a review lesson, um, I'm just showing you reviewing the technique. But but we're also going to go just a little bit deeper this time. So let's see if we can take and work this into a simple passage. Now, what you're playing isn't even that important. You could just strum with the snare and then slap and then strum and then slap. Okay? So, one, two, three, four. Oops. Yeah. So, pick a, pick a chord with your left hand. Say a C chord or G chord or D chord, whatever you're happy with. E chord, don't matter. Play your C chord and then slap. Right. One, four. Yeah, I remember. One and two, and three and four. Everybody grab your guitars and practice along at home, please. This guitar does a way better slap than... Remember the one I had, the first lesson we had? Oh, yeah. This guitar is way better. Yep. And remember, you're, you're trying to hit with the bone... You're trying to hit right on that crease of the thumb, right on that bone, right that hard part, because that's where you're going to get that nice, nice crisp chick. Cool. Very good. Thanks. Got my coffee here. Keep going. Everybody, keep yeah. practicing the thumb snare slap for just another minute, and then we're going to review our second uh, Elite Bata guitar trick for the day. Let's do a G, G chord. Why not? I got that G chord really good. Matthew, I almost got the F chord. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, the F chord, you're, you're just, that's one you're going to be working on for a while, I'm afraid. Yeah, I know. That sounds pretty good, though. Is that it? Pretty close. Yeah. Cool. Sounds a little off. <laughs> All right. Then, if you remember, the second lesson we did was the bass drum tap on the soundboard. Now, if you have a pick guard, you can see I have a pick guard here. Um, right here in this area of the pick guard is going to be where you're going to get the best sound. Now, I'm not trying to be anal about this, but the, but the reason why it makes such a difference is when you strike the wood top, the closer to the center of the area of the wood you strike, like it'd be best right in the middle under the strings, but you can't get there. So the closest you're going to be able to get is right about here. And so you get a nice, strong, deep, bassy tone when you strike close to the center. If you sit hit further away, you can experiment, you'll hear the pitch is higher. Mm -hmm. It's more staccato, but in towards the center, it's deeper, and it has a little more ring. 
So of course you can customize this and move your tap to a position that gives you a pitch that that, that harmonizes with your with your with your chords with your key. And one of the cool things about Reason is I learned very early when I was making music in Reason that you had to tune your drums. And people are like, "What? Tune your drums? Well, I mean, you've seen drummers. They they have their little drum key and they tune their drums, right?" Well, like, you can literally tune your drums to your song. Like, and so I actually, when I was much younger, um, in the beginnings of YouTube, you know, I was watching videos and people were teaching you how to, how to, you know, hear the, the sound of the drum and match it with the pitch of the song. And it's really just about making it, you know, so it sounds smooth rather than like against it. And so what I'm saying is you can kind of like find the pitch that you want here to some degree. But I kind of feel like, like I said, closest to the sound hole on the pick guard, anywhere in this area where my fingers are, anywhere in this area is going to be your best tone. Yeah. It's going to be the deepest. Okay. So let's try and do a little. One, two, three, four. I remember this. Yeah, we're reviewing. Yeah. Can you hear mine okay? Yes, I hear you great. Good job, cool. everybody. Practice along with Jennifer. Thanks. I'm so glad these are beginning lessons also. <laughs> well, uh, we're going to do the beginning out. lessons for a while, and, yeah. and then we'll move up to intermediate lessons, and then eventually well, of course. we'll move up yeah. to advanced lessons. For, for now, I love the... yeah. <laughs> Make sure you like this stream, guys. Give me a thumbs up. I'm going to get some more people in here watching. Did okay. I like it yet? I don't know if I... <laughs> I was like, did I like it? There we go. You're good. You're good. All <laughs> right. Um, so let's move on now to the next trick that we're going to do. Um, and so I just got to um, go back here to um, review exactly which one should be next. Um, okay. So... Okay, so we did the ring finger. Now let's go and do the next one. I'm trying to go in the same order. Oh, natural harmonics. Okay. Yeah. So, Alip Bata plays the guitar. A lot of people call him the harmonic master. I really, I really am impressed with the amount of harmonics that this guy uses in his playing. It's, it's. I, I wonder if he like sits there and he's like, hmm, how can I get some more harmonics into this phrase? Yeah, I guess it's like <laughs> he does like, it like it's like it's easy. Like <laughs> well, they they are easy, but getting to them is not always convenient, and mm -hmm. he seems to make it look like it is. So yeah, and, and remember, it's none of this stuff is hard, right? These are beginner techniques. We're just trying to assimilate them so that then we can use them. So starting here with the easiest harmonic. There's a thing about guitar. It's about the middle. We were talking about the middle here. Well, now we're going to talk about the middle here on the fretboard. Right on the 12th fret itself is exact geographic middle of the guitar between the nut and the bridge. Okay? So this right here in the middle... That's very, very, very special. This halfway point is going to give us octaves above the open string if we strike the harmonic. So what we do is we put the finger directly above the fret, and when we strike the finger, the string with the finger, we immediately let go to create a popping bell-like sound. I, I had trouble practicing this one, I remember. Is that it? I keep accidentally. There we go. Is that it? So everybody, just, just FYI, my guitar and Jennifer's guitar are tuned differently. I, yeah. I like to play um, I like to play down a whole step. That's just my thing. Um, at least at least for this guitar. So when you hit right above the 12th fret, like this, finger right on top of the metal, right in the middle of it. 
Strike with your thumb or your finger and let go. Pop it away and let it sing. It should sound like a bell. Like that? Closer. Like yeah. this. Like this. Watch. Don't fret. Put your finger on top of the string, but don't press down. Just touch lightly. Then as soon oh, there as, it is. Then as soon as you hit it, let it go. There it is. Okay, let's talk about a famous guitar lick that has lots of these harmonics. I don't want to play too much of it for copyright reasons, but just to give you an example. Right? Remember that ding dong, right? Yeah. Right? Ding mm -hmm. dong. Right? Mm hmm That's harmonics. It's got that ringing bell-like quality. Ding dong. <laughs> so for natural harmonics, just think of ding dong, like a doorbell. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of sound you're trying to make. You want to ding. And, and the ding implies some sustain, right? Everybody make sure you got your guitars practicing along. Ding Natural dong. harmonics above your 12th fret. Ding dong. <laughs> okay. Now you can also do this other places on the guitar. And in the video I did, we went really in depth about what the pitches were. Here's a quick review. The harmonic at the 12th fret is one octave above the open string. So open, I'm, I'm tuned to D, so open D as in dog would give me a high D. If I was tuned to standard E, I would have a harmonic E here, but I'm tuned to D. I'm explaining that. I'm down a whole step. Okay. Yeah. So, um, and the reason why I'm not putting my capo on is because it's going to move all my harmonics, and then they won't be in the same spot on the camera. Okay. Uh, I probably should have retuned before we started, but guess what? We're here now, and we're doing it. So, um... <laughs> The next harmonic we need to learn is the 7th fret harmonic. The 7th fret harmonic is an octave higher than the note at the 7th fret. It's an octave and a 5th above the open string. So... On your first string, 7th fret harmonic, if I was tuned to standard, that would be a high B. An octave and a fifth above the open E. Are you following me? Mm -hmm. So, So, the harmonics at the 7th fret are higher than the harmonics at the 12th fret. They're a fifth higher. Are you following me? Uh-huh. Do you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to hit it over and over. You want to hit it and let it go and let it oh, yeah. bell. There we go. Yeah! That's it? That's it. That's so cool. That's, That's it. That's like the, the, flute, the flute octaves. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. That's the first two. Are you guys all following me so far? Everybody's got your guitar. You're practicing mm -hmm. along at home. You mashed the like button already. All right? You, you, you've already subscribed. You've already... All that good stuff. All right. <laughs> Where's your coffee, everybody? Let's take a little drink of coffee. Coffee break. Kopi, monocopi. Where's your coffee? I got my coffee right here. Since it's uh, 1 o'clock. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, for me, it's... <laughs> you're, you're in a different time zone. We're all good. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. The next harmonic we need to learn is the fifth fret. The 5th fret harmonic is an octave higher than the 12th fret harmonic or two octaves higher than the open string. Oh, it is. Wow. You, you got to let go as soon as you strike it. I keep forgetting the let go part. <laughs> nope, that's not it. Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer, it's one of your favorite songs. <laughs> Let it go. Oh, Let yeah. It... 
I can't do any more than that. Let I'll it definitely go. get pinged. I, I, uh-huh. I don't want to get pinged. No pinging happening. We're just ponging. No pinging. <laughs> Here it is. Nice. Let it go. What note is that? A high C? Okay. I'm going to tell you how to figure it out. What string are you on? Um, the first one. What fret? Uh, the fifth. That's two octaves higher than your open string. So what's two octaves higher than E? Another E. Uh-huh. <laughs> the high, high E. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now, you want to know something else? Both of those second two harmonics that I showed you are double. Expl- let me explain. Remember we were talking about the center. Right? The center point is unique. There's only one center point. You can't have two center points. That makes sense, right? But if you go to the seventh fret, okay, and then you go to this this seventh fret above the twelfth fret, you see now this distance here is the same as this distance here to here. So, and this distance here is the same as this distance here. So you have the same harmonic. It's the same at the seventh fret and at the nineteenth fret. Cool. They're the same. It's not an octave different. It's not. It's the same. But wait, wait, let me explain. There's another one. Look, this one here and this one here. The fifth fret and the invisible 24th fret. There's an invisible harmonic here. Oh, like way down there. Wow. Hear that? Yeah. This is where your 24th fret would be if you had 24 frets. It's the same harmonic as the fifth fret, though. You don't need it. Now, you'll see Elite Bata use it all the time. And he uses it with the tap or touch harmonics. Now, a tap harmonic is generally like you already... Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait I don't want to get too ahead. We haven't even done tapping. I can't do tap harmonics when we haven't done tapping. Okay. Harmonics. We did natural harmonics. There's a whole bunch of them, right? So, you want to get used to them, right? Bell-like tones okay harmonics the next thing we did uh, we're going to move on now we spent quite quite some time there reviewing harmonics because they're pretty complicated next thing is ha- is hammer-ons and pull-offs do you remember them jen i think so uh, that was that was right before the slides right right so hammer-on yeah. what we're going to do is man i keep my mic keeps hitting my strap what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to strike the string with our right hand and then without striking it again, slam the left hand on and make the note ring harder by, by, stra- by pressing it, slamming it on, hammering it on, one-handed. Nice. Thanks. Really? Really, really slam it, girl. Slam it down. That almost sounds like Jaws. Yeah. <laughs> there, there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that minor second there. <laughs> you know, it's funny. The streams that, like, I'm, like, slam busy, like, the sound and, you know, when I'm doing Matthew's Favorites live... It doesn't mm-hmm. matter what kind. If I'm if I'm performing or if I'm hosting, right? I don't have time to do the chat. And people are chatting like crazy, and then they're mad. They're like, "Why aren't you responding to my chats?" But but then when I do the guitar lesson, and, and I have time, and Seriously? I'm sitting here listening to you play guitar, I could be chatting away, and nobody chats. <laughs> I know. I noticed that. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, uh-huh. Let's keep playing. Let's keep playing. Okay. <laughs> let's keep playing. All right. So hammer on. What's the opposite of a hammer on, Jennifer? Hammer off. Pull off. Pull off, almost. <laughs> okay, so we're going to strike the string with fingers on, and then snap. Snap a finger off. Ow. Oh, cool. Can I like it on the first string? Cool. Yeah. 
So, hammer-ons and pull-offs. So you can do a lot with that. You can, you can double it up. So you could hammer on and then pull it off. You could re repeat it and make a trill. Okay, so this is just a brief review of hammer-ons and pull-offs. Okay, so um, we we learned a little bit of a lick, remember? Remember the little three? It's a really just one note, mm -hmm. but um, but it's got that it's got that little ornament at the beginning. The hammer-on and pull-off. Remember that Santana lick I showed you? Yeah, I don't remember, remember what um was it on from though? six well because because i'm in a different tuning than you oh yeah for you it'd be sixth fret hammer on to the eighth fret pull off to the sixth fret on the second string okay. oh yeah very good jen thanks Shout out to Zezin MS. Good job, sis. He thinks you're wh whoever that uh, is. No, I'm sorry thanks. about the pronoun. Whoever that is, they think that you're doing good. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Excellent, guys. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe here. We want to make sure we got lots of people. Informal guitar lesson here. The cool thing about this is if you like the lesson, you can always review it. And anytime you want, it's going to be on YouTube forever. You can just play along whenever until you get it down. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Since this is a review lesson, we don't want to get stuck in one place for too long. The next thing we did was sliding. So yeah. sliding is when you play the string and then move your hand on the fretboard in either direction. I love sliding. Hey, coffee time. Coffee time, Alex. Hi, Alex. <laughs> I love it. Love it. So, what was the secret? Review. What was the secret, Jennifer? I taught you the secret last time. Um, was it the thumb? Like holding tight? Press. Press, And yeah. when you're sliding, give a diagonal pressure. Mm-hmm. Right? Press into the neck and the slide at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. The more the more diagonal pressure, the more sustain you'll get. Mm-hmm. So, bringing in a leap bata here, slides are something that he just uses so many of. Just so many of, you know? Right? Just like those little teeny weeny little over, over the fret slides. I'll hear a hundred of them in a song. Mm -hmm. You know? And and he'll do it with one finger while he's courting, right? He'll be he'll be, you know, he'll be playing like this. Whatever. And he's playing these <laughs> crazy slides while he's playing the chords and the percussion and the bass all at the same time. Just, so it's really important, you know, to just get comfortable with this idea of the, 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 the sliding downward diagonal pressure. Because think about it. If you're trying to play a chord and you're trying to slide at the same time, then you're going to have to have like this weird pressure going on where... You're holding the chord down, but then you've also got the diagonal pressure going on the slide, and so it's kind of like a combination, right? Yeah. 
it's you can get really advanced with this. So for now, even just one finger. Think of think of the old punk riff. That was in how many million punk songs, right? So I got something here. Oh wow! I must try it. Yes. Yeah. That's what this is all about, guys. Grab your guitar, play along, and try. You know, we're just doing uh, we're just doing a review here of some of the stuff that I've been teaching Jennifer over the last couple of weeks. This was actually Jennifer's idea. Jennifer's like, "Oh, I haven't been practicing much. I need to review." And I was like, "What a great idea! Let's do a review <laughs> lesson today." I normally do practice. We we've actually had um, my. You don't need to make any excuses. No, girl. no, no, it's not an excuse. But um, we've had four four kids staying with us, so it's been kind of. <laughs> It's been it's been fun, but you know. <laughs> All right, now let's go back through the next thing we want to try. We've been doing sliding. You, do, I, I hear you doing it. You sound great. Now let's Thanks. review vibrato. Oh, I love vibrato. So vibrato. Cool. Remember, we're going to rub the string on the fretboard. It's work. Yeah, we got it. We got to we got to practice to learn. Nice. Thanks. Remember, like like the like the grandfather clock swings. Pendulum across the string, not not one way and back. That's bending. Pendulum across in both directions. That sounds good. Thanks. So this this pendulum rubbing vibrato is the most common. It's the one that most players use most often. But remember, I taught you there are other forms of vibrato on the guitar. Do you remember what they are, how you do them? This one? Yeah. So you play your chord. And then holding your elbow on the guitar body so that it doesn't move, you can pull back on the thing. Or you can shake it up and down. Mm -hmm. If you want a, a deep vibrato with a lot of pitch ba pitch bend, then you pull back. If you want it to be just a little light shaking, the very shallow arc of our vibrato, then we shake like this, up and down, just gently. Mm -hmm. This is very, very common. You'll see this. <clears throat> watch, watch guitar players, like um, especially if you watch a single guitar player singer watch them at the end of the song watch them they hit that last chord and they hold that long guitar chord watch and see how many of them hold it still versus how many of them are shaking it the, you'll you'll find both you'll find both but just i just you know all you guys out mm -hmm. there just, just just for your own you know your own thing check it out sorry about that you're fine my headphones uh, uh, microphone is being extra creaky today. Uh, <laughs> okay, next. Vibrato can also be done, um, like I, I said, with the finger, right? But then um, you can also bend it down like this. And so what I'm doing now, I'm still holding my arm in front of the guitar. I'm now pressing the neck away from me. Now you don't want to, you don't, either one of these ones where you're bending the wood, <laughs> they're for a subtle effect, you, you don't want to break your guitar, okay? <laughs> huh? I, I, I can just imagine some Hercules dude like, oh, I'll do that, oh, it's your fault I broke my guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep, you, you guys, you know, I understand it's the middle of the night there. I'm, I'm across the world from you, and I'm working in a time that's convenient for me to work, right? This is my yeah. work hours. So you guys, if you, need to, if you need to set it down and come back tomorrow, this stream will be here tomorrow. It will. Mm -hmm. It won't be live anymore, but it'll be here. And, you know, you can come back and check it out. And you can always, always re-watch. You can always leave a comment later. 
you know, all that good stuff. And and I'm I'm making a pledge, guys. I'm I'm trying to do more with the chat um, on all my streams, but it's it's tough because you know, like uh, I've got literally so many things going on. <laughs> And at first, when I first started doing live streaming, I paid way more attention to the chat and it caused me a lot of problems. So I'm going to have to try to find this middle path here as we move forward. Um, Jennifer does a really good job take, doing chat for me when she's working. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, you're great. I really appreciate it. You know, and, and um, I, I've never really been much of a chatter. Okay, um, we got a comment here. Um, this, was this technique used on the toxicity cover? So toxicity. Um, he uses all kinds of stuff in that. Yeah, he uses all kinds of stuff in, in the Toxicity cover. I can't remember just off the top of my head, um, but, um, we just had a little mental break. Um, and so let's, let's go back here. Let's go back here to the techniques. Um, so we're, we're working on, uh, vibrato, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so just one more little thing on vibrato before we move on. Anybody that's new here? Remember, with a vibrato, you're arcing the string back and forth over a middle point where you start. You're not just going to one side and back. That's different. And we're trying to give it a wah, 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 wah. Good. Thanks. <laughs> Everybody's playing with your guitars at home. And then the other kind of vibrato you can do is the violinist vibrato. And that's a real yeah. subtle one. That's where you're literally just rotating your hand like this. I have trouble with that one. And that one works better on fretless instruments. Yeah. But it, it, you can do it. It's just very, very subtle. That's hard. All right. Moving on. Bending. So bending is similar to vibrato. But I, I already said... Vibrato, you arc back and forth over a center point. So wherever you start, you'll go one direction back to the center, the other direction back to the center. But with bending, we're just going to only go one direction. So you strike the string and then push it to the side while continuing to hold down. Beautiful. Thank you. So, Jennifer, this is the next step on this trick. I did not teach you this before that I recall. Or okay. maybe I did. Maybe it doesn't matter. I don't even know why I said that. Okay. <laughs> we're going to play a reference pitch. Then we're going to slide to it. Be I'm sorry. Then we're going to bend to it. So okay. watch me. Watch me. Demonstrate for everybody. Reference pitch. Back up a fret. Bend to that same sound. Listen to the reference pitch again. Oh, it's a different one. Reference pitch. Bend. So that could be anywhere? Yeah. Ah. Nice. Thanks. That's so cool. Nope. Use those ears. Work those ears out. I mean, it goes a little flat, but I was starting to get it. <laughs> well, okay. So, so let's use our let's use our troubleshooting skills. Why do you think it's a little flat? Probably because I let off too soon. No. No. Well, you you just bend it more. Bend it further and press okay. harder with the thumb behind it. There we go. The farther you bend the string to the side, the more pressure it takes to hold it down. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 
practice this. Oh, Jennifer, this is a comment somebody had from this video just popped back in my head and um, it was a great comment, so I want to share it with you. This was a comment for you. If you look at me, when I bend my guitar strings, you can see I have three fingers and they're pressed down. But the thing is, I, I don't remember mentioning that they pointed out that I've had my fingers exactly one fret apart or even oh. more or even more. But usually, usually I'll have my fingers exactly one fret apart when I'm bending. Mm -hmm. And so then that way, when I push to the side, I have the strength of and stability of three fingers. Right. Oh, okay? yeah. Rather than just one finger. Oh, that is better. Hello, Aju Aju. Hi. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello, Wisnu. Montop. Yes, this is Montop. We're having a good time. Yeah. You so try that. Use three fingers, all fret apart, and then press and spread the effort among all three fingers and the thumb, and you'll find you have four times the strength as if you only use one finger. I have so much trouble keeping them apart. <laughs> yeah. The the comment was was that your fingers were too close together, and then oh. that's, that would make it harder. That would make it harder for you to apply equal pressure because the frets will be in the way. Yeah, that makes sense. I just, I just have trouble. I I'm, I don't remember who made that comment, but whoever did, it was a great comment. And yeah, so that is. I shot yeah. the comment out. You know what? Here, I'll just go ahead. I'll just go ahead and look it up here while you guys are practicing. That, so I can that give was a, a good comment. Well, I, I'm gonna um, give I'm gonna give an official shout out here. So let me. Yeah, let me, um, I appreciate it. any critical. Um, the problem is my fingers are not wanting to spread out. Okay. <laughs> there we go. That, that's a little better. I noticed there's these things on Amazon that you could actually buy to help keep, to help your fingers spread out, but I feel like that's cheating. I don't want to. <laughs> like I want them to do it naturally. Okay. I don't know. Maybe that's not cheating, but <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so shout out to James Williford. James Williford, the exact comment says, she might have an easier time getting a clear sounding bend if she places each finger on a different fret as you were doing, instead of placing them so close together on one fret and on the fret wires. Just a thought, newbie myself as well. And I then love I that replied, though. yeah, and then I replied an excellent comment. I agree and did not notice her fingers were too close together. Well, it's hard. It's it's kind of hard over Zoom too, but <laughs> well, but I, I love I love that comment though. That's a great comment. Yeah, that's a great comment. So shout out, thank you so much for that when, incredible comment. When was comment. that? Was that like one of the lessons or? Uh, that comment, the comment was made five days ago. Oh, that's cool. Oh, on like one of your streams. On the bending lesson. Oh, on the older one. Okay, cool, on the, cool. Uh, on the on the original the bending lesson. Yeah. Hi, Tony. Yeah, this is fun. Okay, so yeah. moving on now. We did bending, and we did vibrato. We did hammer-ons. We did pull-offs. Okay, um, we did slides. And so let's see what else we still got to go over here. Um, I guess that's the last one. Okay. okay. And, and natural harmonics. Okay, so let's review them all again now. Since we did all that. Um, we've gone through all of them for all of our new people that are here. We're going to just go up, go through these techniques one more time, and then we're going to tie the stream up for today. Um, so this will be a quicker, uh, going through them all instead of in 40 minutes, we're going to try to go through them all in about 15. Okay. So the first thing we talked about today was natural harmonics. Natural harmonics appear at the 12th fret, at the seventh fret and at the fifth fret. You can also find the same ones that are at the 7th fret at the 19th fret and the same ones that are at the 5th fret at the 24th fret. And remember, the 24th fret is invisible. It's up here on the sound hole. You'll see a leap all the time doing this and playing this harmonic. Now this, this I'm gonna, I need to do a whole lesson on this. Because I just, I, I need to practice that for like months to get that crap down <laughs> before I can teach it. <laughs> 
It's hard. The, the, this thing where he's touching the harmonic with his right hand finger and then underneath it, striking with the thumb. Mm-hmm. It's like... And he, he makes it look awkward. like it's like... I know, and he makes it look like it's like nothing. When he <laughs> he's just like, I got this. <laughs> he just moves so quickly. All mm -hmm. right. Natural harmonics. Play me some natural harmonics, guys. Put the finger directly over the fret. Strike it and then let it go. Create that bell tone. Thank you, On. Ishmael, yes. Uh, Alipa's, Alipa's guitar skill is, is, is incredible. And, um, and like I said, this is the, the beginner series. We're going to do the beginner series. Once Jennifer's ready, then we'll start on an intermediate series, and then uh, an advanced series, and then uh, an insane Aleep series, and then, oh, and, and then we'll all be as good as Aleep. No. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish. I mean. <laughs> Just, that's right you know i'm i'm, I'm gonna promise you here if you guys just watch every live stream of mine then in a year you'll be as good as elite bata <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i should go into comedy <laughs> so natural harmonics come on let me hear some you're not fretting you're not fretting oh here. yeah you're touching and bell and letting go i was trying hot to potato Remember the hot potato? Uh-huh. There we go. I apologize for the time in Indonesia. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Fami. We thank really you, appreciate Fami. we really appreciate your encouragement. Okay. So natural harmonics, like I said. Twelfth fret. You can get chords with harmonics too. Let me show you this. 12th fret, if you hit the first three strings, that'd be an E minor chord. Open. Oh. As soon as you as soon as you feel the vibration on your finger, you're gonna immediately let go. Hot potato. That's right, Aji. Hot potato. <laughs> Me too, so, Aji. <laughs> so, 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 uh, Aji, Aji, you, you, you were, you were one of the people saying that uh, that when I was doing the live stream yesterday, that um, you wanted me to do comment with the chat more when I was playing the saxophone co uh, collabs with the leap. Man, dude, <laughs> I'll try, but um, I'm juggling screens, man, on my computer, and it's tough. <laughs> so. I, uh, next time I'll try to remember to read the chats more and talk to you guys more. I, I send me some super chats. If you guys send me super chats, then I don't got a choice, man. Then I gotta interact with them. That's the rules. <laughs> Hook me up with some super. Right? So what is a super chat? <laughs> a super chat. That's like where you know they're like giving you a donation in order to oh, be acknowledged. That's so cool. so they could super chat you ten bucks and then you know, they're asking a question and then at the end of the stream, you answer their question specifically because they tipped you 10 bucks. Nice. Yeah. I had or no whatever idea. it is. Yeah. Whatever yeah. it is. So, I mean that if, if you got, if you guys really want my attention, you can super chat me. Just, just letting you know, there is a way. There is a way. <laughs> okay. So we're moving on from natural harmonics here. You can also get a major chord if you hit the fourth, third, and second string. You get a G 12. major chord. On the twelfth. Mm -hmm. Well, that's hard. It's hard to not accidentally hit the first one, though. How do you not hit the first one? <laughs> you just um, you 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 don't strike it with the thumb, with with the right hand. Oh. Oh, I see. Everybody's practicing along with their guitars. Yeah. Listening, watching, smoking, and coffeeing. That's what On says. That's all good. I'm coffeeing. <sighs> Next. We just reviewed harmonics. Next thing we want to review is the thumb snare slap. 
Remember that? So we're using the bone and we're a whacking that string, a whacking that string. And then like the bass drum tap. And so now we're trying to make our little beat. So we got. That's like the marching band beat. Remember that one? Yeah. <laughs> marching band. Ah, 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 <laughs> <laughs> you can have all kinds of fun with this. <laughs> nice, Jen. Thank that, you. That was the best percussion I've heard from you. <laughs> Thank you. Really good job. I liked how you muted the strings so I could really hear the tapping and the percussion really clearly, but I didn't hear any yeah. of the strings. Yeah, <laughs> like job. last time. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> So then next thing we review is um, the um, sliding, bending, hammer-ons, and pull-offs. So hammer-on. Remember that? We're going to do some hammer-ons here. I think my hands are getting tired. <laughs> um. So that's when we're combining the hammer on and the pull off. Mm -hmm. So cool. Yeah. <laughs> hammer on, pull off. Mm -hmm. Hammer on, pull off. awesome <laughs> I'm gonna Trilling. get my hand to rest a minute <laughs> Trilling Trilling Just keep hammering on and pulling off with that same finger over and over again as fast as you can That's how you do a trill <laughs> I think my hands are too tired for that one <laughs> Hey, at, but, but as a flute player you know all about trilling Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and flutter-tonguing and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. All right. Then we did um, bending. Mm -hmm. Let's practice some bending. My hands are getting a little further apart now. So for, for bending, remember, play your reference pitch that you want to hit mm -hmm. and then bend to it. That way it's right in your ear and you can hear it and try to tune it. Try to realize that every time you practice a bend, you're not just training your fingers. You're also training your ears. Right? Because with mm -hmm. bending, there's a lot of room for error. It's, it's not an exact science. Right. Play your reference pitch. Okay. And then bend to it. Okay. 
Here, Jennifer, Jennifer. Play a note at, say, the 12th fret on any string. Mm -hmm. Then go back behind the 12th fret, 11th or 10th, whatever you want, and match that same pitch. You're bending above the original pitch. We want to yeah. go. We want to bend. We want to go back to it. So listen. Let's. I'll tell you exactly what to do. Okay. Play the twelfth fret on the second string. Okay. Then go back to the eleventh fret on the second string. Mm -hmm. And then bend it to match. Okay. Nope. You're starting on the 12th fret and bending up. Slide back a fret to the 11th fret and then bend up. Okay. There we go. My hands are just getting a little tired. <laughs> well, we're just going to wrap up. We're almost done. Okay. So so you you can you can let your hands rest. It's okay. okay <laughs> Thank you. This is the hardest thing you did. Yeah, that was hard. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to give you a regular lesson in about 10 minutes. So just, just let your calluses consolidate yeah. a little bit now. All right. I'll just finish this up. This You guys are doing great. Jennifer, thank you so much for being here with me. Anytime. So let's talk about bending. Right? And bending is crucial to your repertoire. Vibrato. A great way to finish a bend is with a vibrato. Remember, mm -hmm. vibrato is different than bending. Bending, we go one direction and back. Vibrato, we arc right. in two directions. So it's different. And vibrato is the great ending of the phrase. So whenever we have our phrase and our big long note at the end, we curl it up with some beautiful vibrato. Thank you for subscribing, tree. So um, say I bend up. Then I, I vibrato the last note. Like that Eric Clapton riff. All right, I don't want to uh -huh. get copyright pinged, right? <laughs> yeah. You see that? Now, Elite Bata, when he does his version of Wonderful Tonight, Elite Bata does the whole step bend with the behind the nut bend. The, remember I showed you that last time? He that does that a whole step. I can only get it to go a half step. Thank you, that chicken one, and friends. That one was hard. So just just letting you guys know, that's how a leap's doing that one. It's crazy. Um, but um, bend, release, vibrato is a really great trick. One other thing we got to finish up with today was sliding. We talked about sliding where you strike your finger anywhere and then just move to a different fret. And we were talking about a leap does this a lot. Right, so you can slide into a note and then vibrato it. You can do the the bass slide. You'll see me do that a lot of times if I'm performing. You know what I mean? I'll be like. And you'll see me. I'll do that all the time, man. I'll just. Love boom, it. Right? And so what that is, I'll put my finger on the sixth string and just whatever fret. I'm not even looking. I'll hit it. And then just slide down. Mm -hmm. Sliding is a lot of fun. So let's just review here all the things that we talked about today. Okay. We talked about the natural harmonics. Right? Pinging. Taking your finger away. Immediately. Bell-like sound. 12th fret, 7th fret, 5th fret are the best ones to work on. There's also ones up here, but they're the same as these ones down here. So learn these ones here, and then you can start learning the alternate positions for them here when you're comfortable with them here. Because these ones here would be mostly for the right hand to do rather than the left hand. Okay. Right. We also did the, um, the thumb snare slap. We did the bass drum tap. We practiced some rhythms. Did 
jamming with the bass and the snare sounding sounds. Um, and then we did vibrato, rubbing the string on the fret. We did the hammer on. We did the pull off. Thank you, everybody, for all the coffees. I, I, I appreciate the coffees. <laughs> we did the hammer on pull off combination. Right? We did sliding. And vibrato. So, this is a great review lesson. Jennifer, everybody watching, my next lesson plan, what I want to do is I want to start taking and combining some of these things that we were learning today uh, and reviewing from past lessons um, so that we can start to um, do a little bit more complicated things. And this will be step one into the world of Elite Bata Intermediate Guitar Tricks. Now, yeah. this, this series... I'm not teaching you how to finger a G chord or how to finger an F chord. There's millions of videos on YouTube for that. And not that I won't make them. I probably will at some point too. Um, but I'm focusing on the technique secrets, the tricks, you know, because um, if you don't know all those little tricks, it's going to be impossible to string a thousand of them together into a minute of a leaps playing. And I do literally mean a thousand. Uh, he's doing, he's doing like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> dozens a minute i mean he's pretty pretty incredible um and and just like you like you say it just makes it look so easy um and the more that i practice these little techniques and stuff uh you know not only does it make me a better player and help me to refine my playing but it helps me be a better teacher too so this is just all good for everybody um and so I want to take a second and honor my guest here, Jennifer Valiquette. Everybody go over to her page. Hi. Subscribe to Jennifer's music page. She plays saxophone and flute. She does all kinds of cool music. And uh, she's you. also a vocal and guitar student. She's been helping me to do uh, guitar and vocal lessons for some time. So thank you so much for being here with me. Thank and, you, Matthew. <laughs> yeah. And everybody, make sure you mash that like button. We want to get those thumbs going up, up. Up. No, 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 not sideways. No, no, no. We, we don't want that. When thumbs up, thumbs up. All right. And mm -hmm. uh, make sure you guys give me a subscription if you're not already so you can catch the next episode when it comes around. And um, all that good stuff. Uh, and um, make sure if you want to get music lessons with me, you can get music lessons with me just like Jennifer does on the Zooms. You can get them. And uh, it don't matter where you're at, we can work something out. And um, Jen we're in, me and Jennifer are in different time zones here, and she's been yeah. studying with me for quite some time. Um, you can find out more at matthewsmusiclessonstudio.com. And uh, you can support the show at patreon.com. So make sure you go over to patreon.com slash matthewsmusiclessonstudio to find out how you can support the channel and get your requests in ahead of the line. And, man, I'll tell you what, there is quite a line thank you alex thank you machamad Ma i don't know how to say that i don't cool either. though thank you for being here thank you Ozzy. thank you fami uh thank you on um and uh you guys are awesome hey Ozzy. uh hey um on uh, I, you, you two want some wrenches i'd really like you guys to to to, to come on as uh both you guys as uh um as, you know, helping me out with some moderation here. Uh, and you can have a wrench just like Fami and Jennifer. Uh, shout out to you. Let, let me know if you, let me know if you're willing to do that here in the chat or in the comments. I would really appreciate it. And uh, we're at 59 minutes. We're, we're, I'm going to, I'm going to turn into a pumpkin at midnight. Oh my <laughs> God. We're going we to end this stream before I turn into a pumpkin. <laughs> uh, what am I going to do? I don't even know how to end the stream. I forgot how to say it. Bye. <laughs> I, I don't know how to do it. Was that good acting? Yes. Pretty, pretty good, right? Pretty convincing. Very good. I got real tears welling up in my eyes from that crap. <laughs> you done with an F chord. Look. Yeah! <laughs> and we're ending on Jennifer's happy high note F chord. Thank you so much, guys, for being here with me. Thank you so much. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. All that great stuff. Aji, you're coming on. I'll get you going here. Thank you so Yay. much for replying. Really. And I'll see you guys all next time. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys all next time on Mastering Music with Matthew.